Okay, so in today's video, we're just going to be going over uh, how I put this umbrella on my kayak, the materials that you're going to need, just how we did it, and the tools that you're going to need. But uh, it's just a real simple setup. doesn't take that much to do it. But uh really love this thing so far. I've been using it for about a month and a half now, and it's just been amazing. Uh, just, you know, them hot summer days where you just want shade so bad, but you just can't find it. And it's just a real easy way to pop that umbrella up and just get that shade that you need. So let's get into how you make it. I just want to kind of go over how it is actually made, how it's set up to give you a better idea whether or not you can do this to your kayak or if you want to. Um, all I did is I come into my kayak seat that I put in my kayak. It has a bar that goes across the back right here. And that bar is kind of in line with the top of my seat. So I didn't really know at first if I was going to be able to do this. But this mount right here really helped me out. But these uh, little clamps right here are made for ATVs and UTVs. Um, I just bought them off Amazon. They're pretty cheap. They got a hole out here mounted in them. I just bolted to them holes and I came up to this uh, universal umbrella mount right here. Love this umbrella mount. It just uh, bought that off Amazon as well. Not that expensive. But it just has these uh, screws here where you tighten your umbrella in there. And you know when you're ready to take it out, you just undo them, pull it right back out. But uh, it's just really a real secure way to mount your umbrella to your kayak. It doesn't doesn't try to fly out or come out or what have you. It just stays in there real secure. Um, just really love that mount right there so far. And you can just put all kinds of umbrellas in there. And it gives you uh, ability to adjust the height of your umbrella. You know, how high or low you want it above your kayak. Um, just really love that so far. But like I said, I just mounted mine to the seat right here, that bar right down there. So if your seat doesn't have a, a bar like that or if it's maybe further back or further in, you might have to... Uh, make this kit a little bit different to, you know, to fit your kayak. But one drawback of doing an umbrella set up on your kayak is your rod holders and your black pack. If you're running a milk crate or a black pack, um, how I worked around that was I have rod holders on my kayak anyway. I just face these backwards and then I have these backward facing ones. So I just put two rods here, two rods there, and then I fish with my fifth rod as well. So I'm still using five rods even though I can't put them in my black pack. And uh, I just use my front rod holder when I catch a fish. Um, you could probably still use a uh, smaller umbrella and get away with using these back two here. Maybe, about, maybe mount one on the center of your pack. Um, but this umbrella here is a 68 inch umbrella. So it's like the biggest one I could find. I just wanted a lot of shade. But uh, like I've seen them down to like 40 something inches. And I found this one on Amazon. It was pretty cheap. It was around $20, $25, something like that. And it has flaps up here in the top of it that let wind go through it, which is just awesome when you're out there, you know, on the windy days. You don't want to uh, put that umbrella down. It just kind of helps out get that wind from, you know, flopping that umbrella around. But uh, I also tried one of these Versa umbrellas. There's a picture of it. Um, I just hated that thing. It was not, it wasn't worth a crap. <laughs> it was a uh, 38 by 39. It was tiny compared to this umbrella right here. It's made in a funny way, kind of like in a rectangle. And, uh, well, that thing just flopped around all over the place and just wasn't big enough and didn't take long at all. I just scrapped that idea and decided to build something like this. But, um, I just love it because you got shade. You can still use your rod holders down here. Um, I just love it so far, so let's get into how you make it. Okay, so now we're going to go over the tools and materials that you're going to need to do this. You're just going to need a power drill with a one quarter inch drill bit. You're going to need an angle grinder with a four and a half inch cutoff wheel to cut your aluminum with. Um, you can also use a skill saw or a miter saw to cut your aluminum. With, your, with just your regular wood blade, it cuts that aluminum very well. Also, um, just a little sanding disc. Uh, this is a four and a half inch. This is 80 or 100 grit sanding disc. Just a really good way to smooth that aluminum out. You get rid of all the rough edges. Um, also, just make sure to wear eye and ear protection and gloves. You know, just protect yourself. Um, you're gonna need a clamp to clamp your parts together when you're drilling your hose. You're gonna need a marker and tape measure to measure and mark your stuff with. And also, you're gonna need uh, four one and a half inch quarter inch bolts and then four one inch quarter inch boats. And um, locking nuts with that as well, make sure nothing comes loose. Um, materials, you're just gonna need a three quarter inch uh, square aluminum. I get this at Lowe's, uh, real good stuff, real light, but just real strong. 
um, you're going to need a one and a half inch wide by one eight, one eighth inch thick aluminum just a real lightweight flat aluminum get that lowest as well um, then you're going to need a two inch angle iron um, this is just one eighth inch thick here you can use one quarter I use one quarter on my kit but it doesn't matter you can use one eighth or one quarter um, now coming over to this Lizard Go kit, I got this off of Amazon. It's made for UTVs and four wheelers. Um, just clamps on to a different size tubing. Um, I was real impressed with this kit. It really worked good. Um, already has a hole drilled in it right there. That's what I mounted to. And it comes with these uh, rubber inserts for different size tubing. And I was real impressed with how well this uh, actually held up and worked. Um, once I clamped it on there, it doesn't move. It stays right where I want it. It comes with uh, different size uh, rubber uh, inserts, that, so you can use a three quarter inch all the way up to one inch tubing. And they make these kits that go all the way up to like two and a half inch tubing. So um, it comes with little tools that you can use to tighten it with. And coming over here, you're uh, gonna need uh, one of these uh, universal umbrella mounts here. I got this on Amazon, and I'll link that in the description. Um, and when I first bought it, it came with these little uh, screw clamp for here. You just kind of screw that out to clamp it onto something. I didn't really like that I just wanted to uh, bolt it directly there. So um, They just have a little screw in there. You take them right out. So that's pretty simple there, but uh, Now we're just going to get into uh, the measurements of everything and how it's all set up. So let's get into that. Okay, so now we're going to go over the measurements of everything and how I got it all together um, First thing you'll do is just cut two pieces of your uh, angle iron that are three quarter inches wide i just cut them the same width as your square aluminum um, and then cut your square aluminum uh, 16 and a half inches long that's your three quarter inch square aluminum and then come in here with your clamp and just uh, clamp all that together make sure that um, it's nice and even on top and bottom and sides clamp that together drill your first hole Put your boat through there, tighten it up real good. Take your clamp off, drill your second hole, tighten it up. And then come over here to the sides, um, drill one quarter inch hole here and here. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're just going to bolt that to your clamp later. Then come up here. Um, you're going to take your one and a half inch flat piece of aluminum here. You're going to cut a piece that is five inches wide, the same width as your universal mount right here. And get that nice and centered. Clamp that to your square aluminum again, just drill your hole, put your boat through there, tighten it up, and then do the same thing on that second hole, just take your clamp off, drill it. This uh, mount right here came already drilled with these holes right here, so I just put it up against that flat piece of aluminum, marked them holes, drilled them holes there, and just bolted it up. And once you get that done, just come down here, bolt it to your clamps. Um, that's just real simple right there, just bolt that, tighten them down, get it uh, at the angle you want it. Um, when I first put this on here and bolted it up, I ended up moving it closer to my seat. I really thought my uh, head was going to be a problem hitting it, but uh, actually I needed to come closer to the seat. I guess just, uh, you know, my life jacket's against here, my head just uh, further forward than what I thought it was, but um, I don't have a problem hitting my head on it. I really like that. <laughs> but uh, just a real secure way to uh, put an umbrella on your kayak. It's not going anywhere. And... Uh, you know, if you ever just don't want an umbrella on there, you just take it out of this little mount right here. Or if you just want to take that off, just unloosen your clamps, take it off your seat. Um, I, t I did buy two of them uh, uh, Lizard Go kits, and I uh, actually bolted my seat into my kayak with the second one. I come in here and I put Scotty Weld Nuts uh, with a flat piece of aluminum in here, and then I bolted them to that aluminum. So uh, my seat's in there rock solid now. I really like that, you know, when I'm traveling, I don't have to worry about taking my seat in and out. It's just another one of the things I can uh, kind of forget about, you know, but really like them uh, clamps right there. They're really good clamps, really impressed with them. Um, I just hope this uh, video helps out, kind of gives you an idea of putting an umbrella on your kayak, how to do it. Um, real simple, actually. I mean, like I said, this video isn't that long. Just uh, cut some a few pieces of aluminum that you get from Lowe's, drill some holes, bolt it together, and you're ready to go, so... I hope that helps. Appreciate y'all watching.